Good afternoon, everybody, and, and welcome to the Christian Hall of Fame on South Dakota School of Mines campus. We obviously appreciate you being here. Uh, today's press conference is a, kind of a monumental day for our athletic program, and so obviously we thank you for being here. And without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, President Dwayne Hertzer. Well, thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. This is an exciting day for Hard Rocker Athletics. Um, as you know, we've been exploring conference membership ever since we began the NCAA membership process. Well, goodness, almost three years ago now. Um, it's been an easy road. It has not been an easy road, but today I'm excited to announce the Hard Rocker football team has received an invitation to become an affiliate member of the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. <laughs> I don't know how much y'all know, but the GNAC is primarily a West Coast Athletic Conference and runs from Southern California to British Columbia, Canada. South Dakota School of Mines has agreed to a two-year initial conference alignment and will start official conference play in the fall of 2014. I'd like to thank all the GNAC presidents and athletic administrators for providing our university this wonderful opportunity to become an affiliate conference member. Now being an affiliate member provides our institution all the rights and privileges of the regular GNAC conference members. The, the GNAC football conference comprises three regular full-time members, Simon Fraser University of Burnaby, British Columbia, Central Washington University of Ellensburg, Washington, Western Oregon University of Monmouth, Oregon. In addition, the remainder of the GNAC Football Conference are affiliate members, and they include Humboldt State of Arcata, California, Dixie State University in St. George, Utah, and Azusa Pacific University in Azusa, California. The South Dakota School of Mines is a great fit for the GNAC because we share many of the same basic philosophies and ideals the league promotes. For instance, the intercollegiate athletic experience is just part of the overall educational experience, and we strive to have education and athletics work in harmony. We believe that academic success of the student athletes is paramount above all else. And we believe that our student athletes are true amateurs, and they will achieve great things in their professional lives beyond their college athletic experience. I truly believe this will be a wonderful educational opportunity for our student athletes. The breadth of the conference and the international opportunity to play in and experience Canadian culture cannot be measured in a textbook or on a video. We strive to provide our students the global context in which they will practice engineering and science. And this is one more example of how we enhance excellence at the School of Mines. This is the second team at our institution that's received an invitation to, um, as an affiliate member of the GNAC, soccer being the other, and we're extremely excited about the possibilities for the future. So again, this is a great day for Hard Rocker Sports, and with that, I'd like to introduce our head football coach, Mr. Stacy Collins. <laughs> Well, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Hertzer, the administration, uh, certainly Dr. Kaiser, for the ability to, uh, to be able to join the GNAC Conference and affiliate member. Uh, both of those two men were instrumental in our success. I can't tell you the time and the amount of schedules that uh, Dr. Kaiser put together, presented to the GNAC athletic directors, and really made the difference when the opportunity uh, arose for us to get there. And, and certainly, Dr. Hertzer, your sincere appreciation of, of all your support and getting these young men in the conference. Uh, I met with our players at 7 a.m. this morning. Uh, you want to talk about uh, adding a, a shot in the arm to these guys as they head home for spring break. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Uh, I'm extremely familiar with, with the Great North Athletic Conference. Uh, I actually played at Western Oregon University. I received both my undergraduate and graduate degrees at that time. Uh, back then, it was a NAI conference. There was the Cascade Conference and the Columbia Conference, and there was state and private schools in the Northwest that competed against each other. And then in 2001, as everybody made the Division II jump, and I say everybody, primarily the state schools made the Division II jump, uh, the Great North Athletic Conference was formed at that time.
I've had the ability to, uh, the opportunity to work with three of the head coaches in the Great North Athletic Conference. Uh, Blaine Bennett is, is the head coach at Central Washington University. I played for Coach Bennett at Western Oregon. I did my graduate assistantship there with him, and then also worked for him as he took the head job at Central initially. At Western Oregon University, Arn Ferguson is the head football coach at, uh, at Western Oregon. He was my position coach, also my defensive coordinator when I played, and I worked directly under him as an assistant at Western Oregon. And Rob Smith, the head football coach at Humboldt State University, was the head coach at Western Washington University. I spent two years at Western Washington as a linebacker coach and, and special teams coordinator. So I'm certainly very familiar with the personnel. My staff is also very, very familiar with the conference. Coach Tinker played at Western Washington University. Uh, he coached at Western Washington University. He both played and coached for Rob Smith there during that time. Uh, Ken Ackerman, who came to us as our offensive line coach uh, last year. Ken was the tight end coach at, at Humboldt State. And, and help them help lead them to a GNAC conference title. So, and and our other guy on staff is Gary Hyman. Uh, he he played at Humboldt State in 1997. And if you do want to check the records, I remember that game when we beat them, and also when we beat Coach Tinker at Western Washington my senior year. So, those are uh, some of my GNAC memories for that time. It's a tremendous uh, conference. What it adds is is the ability for our young men to see some extraordinary parts of the country. Um, they'll get a chance to go to Burnaby, British Columbia. Uh, Coach, uh, Coach Dave Johnson up there has done a tremendous job of turning the Simon Fraser program around. They had a great run last year, and he was up for co-coach uh, co of the year in the GNAC. Uh, we'll go to Ellensburg, Washington, which has been the, been the cream of the crop in the GNAC. They've won the conference title for the last five years, and so that's, that's a great trip. That one, you just head west on 90, and you'll run into beautiful Ellensburg, Washington, and probably the only place with a lot more wind than Rapid City. Uh, Monmouth, Oregon is located just off I-5, uh, just north of Oregon State University, about 20 miles. Uh, it's, uh, it's a smaller of the institutions, about 5,000, and it's a liberal arts uh, teacher education school. Humboldt State University uh, will be the hardest to get to, I promise you that. There is no easy way to get into Humboldt State, but uh, it's in the northern coast up in Eureka, Arcadia. They have just done a tremendous job of turning that program around. Like I said, they won the conference in, in 2011, and they will pack what's called the Redwood Bowl there. It's an awesome setting. Sits down. It, it's, it's surrounded by a, a Redwood Forest, and they do a tremendous job with their game day activities. Azusa Pacific, just outside of L.A. and Azusa. Uh, Coach Santa Cruz down there has really got that program turned around. They won their last four. They're in a very talent-rich environment down there. A strong NAI tradition, and they made the jump to Division II a year ago, and, and Coach has done a tremendous job there. And then Dixie State University, which uh, was a junior college up till about seven years ago. They made the jump to a four-year institution. Uh, they're located in St. George, Utah, which is really a couple hours, out, hours outside of Las Vegas. They have tremendous weather. Um, and, and, they're doing, and Coach Broomfield there has done a really good job of, of getting on the map. What you'll see with the GNAC conference, there's been a lot of parity over the last couple of years, and, and there's a lot of competition. When you talk scholarship levels, um, we'll be right in the mix of, of the top half of the GNAC conference, so it allows us from a financial standpoint to come in and compete, different than maybe a couple of the other conferences we play non-ling this year that are fully funded, but it's certainly a, a very regarded conference. Uh, we did some research this morning. You know, everybody, there's, there's a lot of RMAC schools in this area. I think the GNAC's 26 and 11 uh, against the RMAC since its inception in 2001. So there's a little bit of a measuring stick as, as you know, what type of conference it is. But I'm extremely excited. I'd also like to thank all the GNAC coaches. Uh, we spent a lot of the time on, on you know, during this process on the phone with them. They got the ball rolling with an initial vote during their conference meetings to, to bring the, the attention to it to their ADs. And obviously, we were working every back channel we could with that. And, and again, I can't thank Dr. Kaiser enough for his time and his effort uh, they put in to help us secure this GNAC conference bid. So what questions can I answer for anybody about the Great Northwest Athletic Conference or our inception into it? Yeah, one of the neat things for us is the GNAC conference, as we work into it, and we'll start play in 2014, is we will have six re regular season conference games, and those will come the last seven weeks uh, of the schedule. So it allows us to keep our local rivalries. The Black Hills game will still be still be going, and, and that's a really neat deal when it's the third longest rivalry in college football. Uh, we're scheduled to play Colorado Mines the next two years. So it gives us some flexibility in getting some regional games, whether hopefully that's a Division II opponent, but it allows us to play uh, an FCS opponent, allows us to maybe possibly 
still play some of the local rivalries that are in high school. So I think the, it gives us the best of both worlds. We'll play for a conference championship. Our student athletes will have the ability to be academic All-Americans, all-conference uh, academic team, uh, GNAC conference, you know, performance on that team, but it still allows us to keep the regional rivalries that we've had for a long time and that people know and understand around here. So for us, it's the, it's the best of both worlds. Well, I would like to introduce Dr. Dr. Richard Kaiser, our athletic director. And again, one more thank you for all his time and effort and, and Dr. Hernser's time and effort for this. Thank you. Uh, obviously, this is a great day. It's a great opportunity for our university to be acquainted with an outstanding um, athletic uh, conference that also embeds the academic portion of it. It's interesting that of the 10 full GNAC members, only three play football. So uh, for us to get this opportunity and to be voted on by 10 schools, only three playing football that voted us into this conference says a lot. We hope that this opportunity, along with our soccer team that was already admitted into the GNAC a couple months ago on an affiliate basis, will potentially lead someplace else, maybe some other teams down the road. But that's obviously putting a cart before the horse. We hope we are good stewards with this opportunity that we have great sportsmanship. We provide an outstanding game environment for the teams when they come visit and that we do a good job both on the field with our sportsmanship, with our fan sportsmanship, and overall just be great representatives of the GNAC. This is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. It's been basically three years in the making and um, it's always good when a plan comes together as they finally say. As it leads to other sports, you all know that we still have 11 sports that are seeking conference membership. We are working on that very hard. We have been in, in constant contact with commissioners throughout uh, this part of the United States and obviously the West Coast to try to get some of our other teams. It looks like we're going to end up going the affiliate route for a while where all of our teams may be in different conferences, but for this time being, we're excited about that. Being in a football conference in no way impedes the opportunities for our basketball teams, our volleyball teams to be an affiliate member in any conference. So uh, we are looking forward and moving forward with those opportunities. And I just had conversations the last three days with three different conference commissioners trying to uh, tell them what a great asset we'd be to their conference and how we could be a great additions to it. So uh, this is a great step for football. It's a great step for our university, and we are excited about it. Do I have any questions? Yes, sir. It, it's 33% uh, it's, uh, a bus league and 67% not a bus league. Um, the two trips that we will take by bus will be to Dixie State University. That's about 940 miles away. The other trip we'll take by bus will be to Ellensburg, Washington, and that's about 1,050 miles away. The other, the other schools are somewhere between 12 and 13, or 1,500 miles if you're going to Humboldt. Um, so that will require us to do some flights that we haven't done in the past, and that creates its own uh, situation because there are no real large planes that fly into um, Rapid City, so we're going to be probably having to take some trips to some larger uh, metropolitan type uh, airports, get on a plane, fly out, fly back. So it's going to create some different dynamics, but it's uh, we've talked about it. Coach Collins and I have talked about it, and our student athletes are actually going to not miss any more class and actually miss less class because of what we can set up with our opportunities by leaving after class on Thursday and if it is going to Denver staying in Denver over the night flying out and then flying back so as it relates to a class opportunity and obviously our students are students first and then athletes second we're excited about that opportunity other questions
Well, the, the bottom line goal, obviously, is all to be in one conference so that we know on Tuesday that our team in, in the RMAC conference and the other ones in the Lone Star are all in the same conference. But for now, because this is the nature of the beast and this is where the world is at, and uh, as conferences have openings, we are going to try to take advantage of those to try to get our sports in. I would be less than honest with you if I didn't say that I'm spending the majority of my time trying to get our team sports in because that's the hardest one to schedule. The individual sports like cross country track and golf, both men's and women, they have opportunities to qualify for postseason play through regional play that everyone gets a chance to go to. So bottom line, my work for the next several months is going to be focused on trying to get the men's and women's basketball and the volleyball team into a conference alignment so that they will have a full schedule and not have to search all over the United States to find games. Other questions? Again, thank you very much for coming. Great day for us to be a hard rocker. There is soda and cookies. Thank you for being here. And uh, have a great spring break for all your students.